Hi there, I'm Mark Waite and welcome to Mark My Words. On this video, today we're going to talk about Christmas. It is the Christmas season. In fact, right now it's the week leading up to Christmas. So many of us are facing into an interesting Christmas. In fact, it's been an interesting year full stop on more levels than one. But the truth is, I remember back when I was going through my hell, marriage breakdown, business collapse, lost my children for a while. Uh, Christmas was very hard. In fact, it was a difficult emotional period, which I, to be honest, don't think I cope with very well. But I, in the period of Christmas, I had some chance to catch my breath, just like you'll have some chance to catch your breath and for one or two days and i want to encourage you this christmas to remember that in this season it's a great season to reset your focus reset your comeback plan reset your future because it's a time where we get to reflect and then make the necessary adjustments to make sure that our future is all we can make it so right now you know, you might be going through a really tough time. You might be very raw from the consequence of a relationship and or financial breakdown. It could be the very first Christmas that you've spent by yourself. It could be a Christmas that is very different from previous Christmases that you have been used to. I want to encourage you to hang in there. It will get better. This might be a tough one for you. It might be very different. It might be very lonely because it was for me i remember i remember it vividly uh, for one or two years after my setback but i want to encourage you that if you rebuild your future in a way that you can do and i believe that you can do it your future christmases will be fantastic um, i this year thankfully we've had um, kate and i for those who don't know i've re i'm remarried back in 2014 and in 2018, we had our first child together. So my fourth, Kate's first, and Pippa, her name is, and it's her first Christmas really as a two-year-old that she remembers. Last year, she was a bit young to really know what was going on, but this year she knows what it's about. And she's very excited about it. And so I, as a, as a 50-something, 50, 50 so what am I now, 55 years of age, have got a new lease on life around Christmas. and. I'm not saying that you're going to need to do what I've done, remarry, have a new child, have a new baby to get a new release on life or a new lease on life around Christmas. But I tell you, it's regardless of what your future holds, if you plan it right and you uh, have the courage to work out what it is you do want next Christmas, okay, and be emotionally immersed in what you do want. It's amazing how opportunities will come your way to give you the equipment or the resource or the vehicle to make those things happen in your life. There's a principle which says what you think about you bring about, which is a true principle, but there's also one that says as you think in your heart, so are you. So in other words, what you are passionate about, you tend to draw into your life, positive or negative. So if you're fueling your heart with the negativity of the past or people that have hurt you, caused you pain, uh, situations that have happened to you that have caused you pain, and you're dwelling on that emotionally, it's amazing how more of that will be drawn into your life because what you think about in your heart, as you think in your heart, so are you. Whereas if you can consciously, first of all, be aware of that principle and then secondly, decide to what, to, what you're going to fuel your heart with, it's amazing how your life turns around because the, this, is the, this is the engine room of your life, if you like, your heart. It's what you fuel it with, what you're passionate about, what you really want to happen in your world. Do you have the courage to decide for a better tomorrow, to plan for a better tomorrow, to hope for a better tomorrow? 2020 has been a tough year. It's uh, it, for, for many people, it's given us a sense of, it's given many people a sense of hopelessness, right? And uncertainty and fear and all those negative emotions. 
but be careful, be wary of what you allow to fuel your heart because what's in there is what comes forward. So how can you control what guard, what, 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 how can you guard your heart with the things that you want to happen? Well, it all starts with a decision, right? The decision to fuel your heart with your desired outcome. So I discovered that it was five, there were five key areas of my life that I wanted to get right. They were my faith life, family life, fitness life, financial life, and fun life. You've got to have fun, right? So I became very intentional around being very specific about what I wanted in those five key areas of life that I wanted to attract into my future, that I was hoping to achieve, that I was hoping to realize in my life. And that was at 42 years of age when I had nothing. No marriage, no home, no cars, no money. I was $130,000 in debt with no assets. So, I, you know, it takes a bit of courage to start to think about these desires that we want to have in our life when you've got nothing and everything is screaming at you of hopelessness. Can I encourage you to do it though? Have the courage to do it because it's amazing how just by doing that simple activity of taking out a notepad and writing down what you want getting pictures of it and getting really excited about the possibility of it happening, how gradually opportunities will come your way to see those that lifestyle realized. Okay, today I'm 55 years of age. I own our home, own our cars, have no credit card debt, debt, debt remarried, um, and have a new, new two-year-old child. Uh, and a lot of other great things have happened as well, but I'm not done yet. I still have, and I've been recently reminded of how important it is to park my emotional uh, focus around the things that I want, that I'm passionate about, that, that, that are able to help and serve other people. Because a lot of who I am, I love helping and serving other people, seeing people, in this case, fast track a comeback. I love seeing people fast track their comeback after a serious life setback. So I'm passionate about that. I also am passionate about lots of other things in fitness, you know, mountain biking, holidaying, um, farming, Racehorses. These are things that you know I love uh, and have been in my you know DNA for quite a while. Kate and I had plans for our family to, you know, to do family trips together and holidays together, and you know, by the grace of God, hopefully, when this pandemic uh, subsides, we will um, be able to have more family experiences like that. But I want to encourage you to stay positive, right? Be hopeful, have the courage to do that. Don't give up hope. You can lose a lot of things in your life, but one thing this Christmas you don't want to give up is your hope. Sit down with a notepad and with a pen and write that. Begin to write out what you actually do want. Be emotionally involved in your future. Because as you think in your heart, so are you. Okay, that principle is universal and it will never let you down. I promise. If you have the courage to be to action it and to really give attention and thought and uh, intentional focus around those things that you do want. And if you want to use those five key areas of life, I talk about this a lot in detail, in depth on my course. It's a course called Comeback Heroes Masterclass. It's a, there's a link to the course somewhere in this video. If you look in the descriptions panel, you'll find a link to it. But I talk about that a lot and I go through in detail how to set goals in those five key areas of your life. But these key things have to be, you have to be passionate about them because as you think in your heart, not your head, is so are you, okay? Um, it's not simple. It's not rocket science. When I say it's not simple, it is simple. It's not rocket science, okay? Have the courage to do it because this Christmas will be the leanest Christmas of the rest, you know, that you'll ever have, right? If you get it right. Next Christmas will be different, okay? You've got to have a plan for your future, but it has to be something you're passionate about. So if you're watching this before Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you're watching this after Christmas, I hope you had a good one. The principles I've talked about on this video, if you can apply those, and when you do apply those to your life, you'll see things turn around and seismically shift in your world. If you like this video and you want to have more of this type of contact, if you're, if you're rebuilding your life and you're looking for a source of information and inspiration to help you fast track your comeback, then you've found the right channel. Click on the subscribe button, subscribe to the video, to the, uh, to the channel. And also in the descriptions panel below, I've got a link, a free link to my 10 breakthrough steps. These are 10 
breakthrough steps that I apply to my world that if you apply to your world, you'll see you'll begin to see that the fast track journey begin in your life to make a mighty comeback in your life. Okay, because that's what it's about. And one day when you do make your mighty comeback, you'll have a fantastic testimony. Uh, the test produces a testimony. If you're going through a test right now, look forward to the testimony because it'll inspire a lot of people when you get there. So until next time, I'll see you on the next video and all the best for the next for the forthcoming year. It's going to be a big one. Bye for now.